Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo, and we're here today to talk a little bit about Destiny 2 on the PC, because I spent the greater part of my day playing the PC beta in its early access form. In case you're wondering, you can play the open beta tomorrow at 1 p.m. EST. You'll be able to download it and get rocking and rolling. It's going to be through Battle.net Launcher, so make sure you got one of those installed if you're interested in checking it out for yourself. I'm happy to say, though, that Destiny 2 on the PC is absolute fire. It's really, really well done. It is one spicy meatball. Bungie, you've done the PC community well here, and as the game sits in its beta form, it's a PC game. This is not just some console port. It doesn't feel like a console port. I didn't see barely any remnants that ever made me think, oh yeah, this came from a console. No, it's just, it's PC Destiny 2. It's Destiny 2 built for the PC, seemingly from the ground up, at least when it comes to all of its options, the way it plays, the availability that we have in terms of boosting our resolution, super sampling, resolution scaling, field of view up to 105, which I think is more than enough for a game like Destiny, mouse smoothing on and off, all the graphical options you could ever want. You know, you can see your VRAM usage when you start screwing around with the different AA. And more importantly, it plays outstandingly well on a mouse and keyboard. They've taken the Destiny experience that we've come to love and know, the one that we got a taste of when the Destiny 2 beta went live on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and they've migrated it relatively flawlessly to the PC, and I commend them for that. That means that there's a bunch of us out there, there's a bunch of you out there, who never played Destiny before because you don't own a console, who are now going to get to experience Destiny with the proper PC setup. I can't speak for how great Destiny 2 or how not so great Destiny 2 is going to be at launch, but at least you'll never have to sit there and say to yourself, it doesn't run well on my high-end rig. It feels like crap on mouse and keyboard. These menus are a mess. It's clearly a PC port of the Xbox version of the PlayStation 4 version. You'll never have to say that. You can decide if you love or hate the game, but at least when you boot it up, you can run it at 4K, have incredible optimization, play with your mouse and keyboard, and you'll be good to go. And that is definitely a positive thing. Now, I did want to speak on optimization, just give you guys some numbers so you get an idea for how well the game has been running for me. I've been seeing universally positive response for the game's performance. You could just run it at 1080p and get like well over 180 frames on high to the highest settings with a 1070 like I have. But I decided to super sample it, run it at 2K with AA off and anastropic filtering on, everything in highest and a few things on high. And I was able to get for the homecoming story mission and for the strike, well over 70 frames. There were only a few instances where it dropped down around 60 when things got really tense, but it was only for but a moment. When it comes to the PvP experience inside of Countdown and inside of control with quick play it was always well over 120 frames so this is a game that you can super sample that you can run at 1440p if you have that high-end rig if you've got a 1080 a 1080 ti a 1070 that's going to run insanely well for you now i spoke to again several other people i played with my buddy fuzzle today he's running an amd rig he had great performance the game is just really well optimized it's no joke to take things a little bit further and to tell you to explain just how well optimized it is in order to capture it with OBS, you either have to use window captured and window mode, or you have to use desktop capture and capture your whole display while the game is running in full screen. A lot of games in the market are really heavy on CPU usage, or they don't balance GPU and CPU usage that well. That means when you run OBS, you get really high CPU usage, and your bitrate goes to crap, and the game lags, and your frame rate's awful. I saw almost no impact running the game with OBS up and using desktop capture. I streamed it for three hours and I thought I'd get like a 20 frame performance increase when I shut down OBS, I got five to 10. It barely made an impact on OBS. That's how well optimized Destiny 2 is on the PC. That's a very, very cool thing and that makes me very happy. Let's talk a little bit about game feel though. Obviously playing Destiny, if you play Destiny for as many hours as I have on a controller, is gonna feel quite different on mouse and keyboard. Now it's not a bad thing, but it is something that takes some getting used to. Not having like the feedback from the rumble triggers on the Xbox One was really weird. And just oh, yeah. the game feel in general for recoil is is different because you're playing with a mouse and keyboard. I do think Bungie's done a good job. There is obviously plenty of recoil on the different weapons. You do have to manage and control it. I still think they could maybe just work on the feel a little bit more, like some of the sound design, some of the visual elements of recoil 
to portray it to the player as a mouse and keyboard user a little bit better. Um, you know, I play a lot of PC first person shooters. You boot up something like Counter Strike Global Offensive and you spray the AK. It really feels like you're spraying an AK, you know? You feel the recoil that you're seeing on screen. I don't quite feel like it's 100% there with Destiny 2 right now. Like, I can see the recoil, but I just don't feel like I'm experiencing it 100% of the way. It's like 90% there. So if that's something they decide to work on long term, I think that'd be great. But it was not at all a game breaker. It's just one of those things that I think gets a little lost in translation. As somebody who has personally spent so much time playing with a controller, it was something that, for the most part, though, I didn't even think about after the three or four hour mark. I was just enjoying the game, and I was really enjoying landing all those quick, snappy, precision headshots. When it comes to PvP especially, I've never been really good at Destiny PvP because of the controller. I played a lot of Halo, I play a lot of controller first person shooters, and I don't have any issues, but there was always something about Destiny for me where I struggled a little bit. I will admit that Destiny 2 PvP when I played it on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, it felt much better for me personally, and I felt like my aim was pretty on point, I was doing well, but there's nothing quite like making the jump to mouse and keyboard. My plan was always to play Destiny 2 PvE, primarily on the Xbox One, where my brother can play with me, because he doesn't currently have a gaming rig. My other friend, other Tony, would join up with us, but when it came to PvP, which my brother isn't that interested in anyways, I would jump to the PC version when it released and play exclusively on mouse and keyboard. I can tell you now, that is definitely what I'm going to do. There's just something about playing Destiny with the mouse that made me smile a lot more than when I played with the controller. It's completely personal. Now, I'm not trying to say one is better than the other, but it's all about how I felt about it. And there was just something right about landing headshots with a hand cannon or spraying someone down at medium range with an SMG that felt better for me personally on a mouse and keyboard. I really appreciate the fact that they've done such a good job with transferring Destiny 2 to the PC, then I can say something like that. Now, one of the interesting things about making the jump to PC is that undoubtedly, the game plays a little bit different. You can rotate more quickly. There are things that are going to affect weapons or weapon types that are better or worse on PC compared to their controller counterparts over on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. I don't want to speak too much on too many of the weapons because I still don't feel like I played enough PvP, but it's obvious that snipers are way, way more controllable when you talk mouse and keyboard. You don't have to play in a low sensitivity to get that precision. You can have your precision, plus have fast moving tracking because you got a giant mouse mat. And the same can be said for SMGs. SMGs were actually really weird on controller. When you played with the SMGs on a console, they felt good, but only in very specific situations. Like long range, their recoil felt uncontrollable and they had these crazy just massive spread patterns. When you play with an SMG on PC, there's no doubt the weapons have a lot of recoil and you have to compensate for them, but it feels like it's easier to compensate, which means that rather than just being effective at point blank range, SMGs were actually relatively effective at medium to like medium long, like uh, right between medium and long range. There were some instances where you could reach out and still get somebody with chip damage at long range if you needed to, but they were just more effective than I ever thought they were when I played on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So that's one of those interesting changes. You know, sniper rifles, we always knew were going to be a little bit easier to use with a mouse, but I didn't expect the SMGs to have the sort of alteration jumping to mouse and keyboard that they did have. I think it's cool, and maybe it has something to do with things that Bungie have tweaked behind the scenes that they haven't told us about, but weapon diversity, as I've been playing on PC today for the last four hours, definitely felt a little bit better because, again, of how effective SMGs were alongside of many of the other weapon picks. Now, I will say that scout rifles were something that wasn't really incredibly popular on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, but I actually really liked them. I really enjoyed the scout rifles that I played, especially the more standard scout rifle you could get for the kinetic slot. It was one of the weapons that I used all the time and really tore people apart with. The thing on PC about that specific scout rifle, which I can't seem to remember the name of for the life of me right now, is that it requires a lot of precision. Precision that I think is founded much more easily with a hand cannon. So it's gonna be interesting to see how those things work out long term. In general, I'm interested to see how Bungie's gonna be balancing the game on PC. It does seem like they have said they are gonna to look to balance them separately when necessary, and PC is looking to be a very different beast. So it's gonna be cool to see how things turn out long term. I'm definitely gonna be spending all of my time playing PvP for Destiny 2 
on the PC and I'll keep my PVE adventures over on the Xbox One unless I'm trying to capture some six screenshots in some absurdly oversampled resolution that runs the game at like 10 frames per second <laughs> because that is one of the beautiful, beautiful things about having a high-end rig. It's just taking stupid high-resolution screenshots at frame rates that you could never really play the game on normally. That's why super sampling is cool, and that is the cooler side of PC gaming for me anyways. I'd really love to hear what your experience has been like with the Destiny 2 PC beta. Is it everything that you had hoped? Have you ever played Destiny on a console, or is this the very first time you're experiencing Destiny here on the PC? Obviously, I know many of you aren't going to have a chance to play till tomorrow, but feel free to come back to the comment section, nag me down below, and let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'm going to go ahead and run through the campaign one more time with my Titan. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, remember to play smart. Remember to play to challenge yourself. But most importantly, remember to play for fun. Whoa, Tony. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I'm so sure I was dead. Wow. Zones control. Targets eliminated. Nice work. That was amazing.